Welcome to your Daily Five for Tuesday, August 29th, 2023. When Sony first announced, and I'm trying to remember how long ago this was, maybe three, four months, they had a PlayStation State of Play or Showcase or something, but they had announced something called, at the time, I think it was called Project Q, which was this weird, well, is, this weird handheld screen with basically a sliced in half dual sense on each side. And when it was first announced, people, I think, really were hoping that it might be some kind of successor to the Sony Vita or the Sony PSP, both of which were handhelds that are still used by a lot of people and still widely loved because they allow for a lot of modding and just generally people found, like, found I think, in, especially in the case of the Vita, that they were just really well-made devices that still work pretty well. And so I think most people were hoping that this was Sony having some kind of handheld that was an analog to that, where you could play either specific games for the handheld or that would have some ability to do the things that the PSP or Vita did before. But Sony pretty quickly came out and said, no, these are this thing is meant to be a streaming device for your PlayStation 5. And I think that a lot of people were still holding out some hope that maybe Sony was going to come out with a surprise announcement saying that they were going to add some type of offline capability or something. And so there were some uh, Gamescom just happened, and I think there's one more game development show. And so there's been some more develop or details about the pro the the handheld coming out, which is now called the PlayStation Portal, and none of them have suggested in any way, nor has Sony made even a veiled reference to the fact that this thing is going to do nothing but play streamed games off the PlayStation 5. And the use case I keep seeing is, okay, you're playing your PlayStation 5 and somebody wants to watch the TV it's connected to, so you just continue playing on this handheld, which is going to be around $200. And honestly, I just can't understand how much of a market there could possibly be for that type of device, especially when there are things like the Steam Deck, and I know Asus has, is it the ROG handheld? I don't remember what the name of that one is. But we're seeing actual handheld gaming computers that in many cases work reasonably well. I like the Steam Deck, it was just too heavy for me, but it was a neat device. And now Sony thinks that the portal is going to somehow sell well based in a world where these other things exist minus the steam deck minus the asus product maybe maybe i could see it even even the fact that vitas and psps are still used by people in modified conditions makes me wonder who's going to buy this thing plus it doesn't look to me to be all that well constructed in terms of i could easily see that if you drop this thing even slightly that one of those controller halves could break off but I, I just, I'm struggling to figure out who wants this thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's always going to be some market for just about any product. I mean, they don't generally develop products thinking that no one will buy them. So I'm sure that they will sell to some degree. But does Sony honestly think there's a large market for a handheld streamable from a local device only product? Are there people out there who think that this thing is actually going to be beneficial? Like I said, the price point, I guess, is all right for what it is. I mean, a controller by itself goes for $60 or $70. And then the screen, if it's fairly well made, which I didn't read it's terrible or anything like that. I think it's a 1080p screen, but as long as it's well made, I'm sure it will be nice to look at. So yeah, that $200 seems like a pretty good price for the literal components involved. But it's not the price that I'm wondering about, it's the use case. It just doesn't seem like there could be that many people who have a yearning for something like this to use in the way it's meant to be used. If you could transfer your game to it and play, say, in a car or something, if you could get a local copy of, your, of the game and a save file... Yeah, that makes sense. That's kind of the Switch model and, and other products. I could see that, but one that relies on you being on the same network with the PlayStation 5, from what I understand, that's what it has to be. I, I don't know. It is, is anybody listening who plays video games? Do you see yourself getting one of these? Do you know anybody who would get one of these outside of maybe the, the gimmick factor of having one? But that's not going to make a market. That That's not enough people. You have to actually sell these things in some kind of good numbers to keep it going and i just can't imagine who who wants this at this point is this something sony developed in the absence of the steam deck not anticipating its success and now they just feel forced to release it i don't know i'm i'm open to your theories so let me know because right now i can't see the point of this thing later